Okay, hands down, one of the best Microsoft tools or Office 365 apps has to be Microsoft OneNote. Microsoft OneNote is available in Windows 10 as an updated app, as well as online in Office 365. However, with our ECSD Office 365 accounts, you can also download the OneNote app for iOS or Android and actually sign in and sync your notebooks through your Office 365 account. So what do I use OneNote for? Well, I've been using OneNote as imagine a digital binder. I have a couple of different OneNote notebooks. Currently on my screen, you will see uh, OneNote for Windows 10 open in the background and you will see my cell phone here on the far right. So let me just expand to see my notebooks. You can see that I have a notebook for MTech planning uh, as well as meetings. And I have a notebook that I wanna focus in on in this particular video for Twitter resources. One of my favorite apps outside of OneNote has to be Twitter. I'm on Twitter possibly too much. So when I'm on Twitter, I'm connecting with EdTech gurus and other educators around the world who are um, heavily using different EdTech tools in their classrooms or with their colleagues. One of the things that I struggled with for quite a while was figuring out a way how to save tweets or save resources that were shared through Twitter until I came across the idea of using OneNote Notebook. So what I did was I set up a notebook called Twitter Resources and I then created sections. These sections represent a lot of the different areas that I'm responsible for or that I've taken the lead on in my portfolio with MTech. I then downloaded the OneNote app on my cell phone. And as you can see, if you take a look at my cell phone here on the far right of the screen, I synced the notebooks that I frequently access, including that Twitter resources notebook. Let me just expand that for you on my phone. Here you can see all of the different sections and if I were to click on a section such as Microsoft and expand that, you can see a variety of pages. Now, here's the cool part. Each one of these pages, if I click to open, is actually a tweet with a link to the tweet as well as to the resource that was shared on Twitter. Let me show you how I did that. So I'm just going to minimize that on my phone and I'm actually going to load up my Twitter app. All right, talk about perfect timing. Here is an awesome sketch note that has been shared by at Woodward underscore Julie uh, for Flipgrid fever tips. Let's say that I wanted to share this particular tweet to my OneNote notebook so that I can then reference this content later on, maybe when I'm preparing for a session. Underneath the tweet, I see four icons. I see a little chat bubble, which is actually to reply to the tweet. I see the retweet icon. I see a heart for liking the tweet, but I also see this three dots that looks like a sideways triangle. This is actually the share icon and I'm going to click on it. Now notice I have a few options. I can send this tweet via direct message to another contact. I can add the tweet to bookmarks, which is a way to save tweets in Twitter, but I'm going to click the bottom option, share tweet via. When I click, on share tweet, I see a menu of different apps that I can use to 
share this tweet through or to. Notice that one of the apps is OneNote. A little OneNote icon pops up along the left hand side of my screen. If I expand that, I can see the tweet with the link for the tweet in the message box. Notice that I can add a title and just above it, it says untitled page, but there's a little drop down icon next to that. Let's just click that. Now here I can see sections that I frequently send content to in OneNote. Notice though that I can also pick a different section. Now it opens up my default OneNote notebook. I set up the default in OneNote, but I can click the back arrow to see all the notebooks that I have synced in my OneNote app on my phone. I'm going to select Twitter resources. And because this is a Flipgrid resource, I'm going to select the Flipgrid section and then click OK. Now, I haven't quite shared the tweet yet. I have to click the large purple uh, check mark here in the top right corner and give it a minute and I'll see a message along the bottom of my screen that says saved to OneNote. Now I can continue scrolling through Twitter. If I come across any other tweets with resources that I'd like to capture, again, I can just click that share to icon or share tweet via and select my OneNote app. Add the information and select the section where I'd like to add my tweet. Now I can get rid of the OneNote bubble by simply dragging it down. An X will appear at the bottom of my screen and it is uh, turned off. One of the things to keep in mind is that you are saving to the OneNote app on your device. So if I go to my Twitter resources notebook, and go to the Flipgrid section, at the very bottom, I will see that tweet that we recently captured. If I come back to OneNote in Windows 10, I'm going to want to give OneNote a few minutes to sync the notebook or sync the content back to the Windows 10 app. But after a few moments, again, in that Twitter resources notebook, in the Flipgrid section, if I scroll to the very bottom of my pages list, there's that tweet for feedback in Flipgrid. It's as easy as that to start curating content from Twitter inside a OneNote notebook.